The next STEM challenge we're gonna do is Pumpkin Paradise. You will need candy pumpkins and craft sticks. I prefer the jumbo size just because they're easier for the little kids, but I am gonna try it today with the smaller craft sticks. The smaller craft sticks are gonna take that difficulty up a notch. I'm only gonna grab a handful of these. Now, you can give your students a constraint by giving them only a specific amount of craft sticks, like let's say 20, and let them design their tower. This is going to require some concentration, some stability. This is really helpful for younger kids because they're still strengthening their executive functioning skills. And so this allows them to concentrate on something and really be patient and plan out their tower. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do three-sided again. It's hard because my hand's shaking. Okay, we are at four pumpkins high. Okay, if I can get these next three on there, then that means that I will have met my goal. And I, if I meet my goal, then I'm gonna increase it. Oh my gosh. Yes! I did it. I made this pumpkin tower um, six pumpkins high. I could probably still keep going, but I'm gonna stop right here because I feel like if I add any more that my hand's just shaking, it's gonna knock it over. So these are all really fun STEM activities. You can find them in Lisa's TPT shop, Lisa Taylor, Teaching the Stars. Um, we'll also link these below in the description. Make sure you go back and watch our previous videos, candy corn bottle flipping, and web design.